Hello, God of Hope Mission family. As you know, my name is Alec, and I'm a full-time missionary at the God of Hope Mission, and this is my son, Elisha. It's been a month and counting since I've given you any kind of content or any update on the mission. I apologize for that, but this little guy has been a huge adjustment for my wife and I. Um, so today I wanted to update you about what's going on here, starting with him. Our son, Elisha, was born at almost 10 pounds on Memorial Day, May 30th. Uh, and that has been, like I said, a large change for us. Uh, in the, the, the first couple of weeks after he was born, we had to take a step back. Um, you know, I was already planning on taking a week off, if not two. Um, turned into kind of like a week and a half Sabbath for me. But after that, you know, I, we really start to focus on our team. And it's amazing how you can start out with a vision for the future. I, I know that I've communicated it in the past in updates, um, but not get where you want to go when you want to get there uh, because you've forgotten things. And one of the things that we've forgotten is to just completely pour into our team instead of just trying to forge new connections, trying to forge new connections. Jesus spent three years pouring into his disciples before they went out and changed the world. And what Elisha has shown us is that in church planning, it's very important to pour into your core team so that they can do the work that needs to be done. <clears throat> and by pouring into them in the first couple of weeks of June, a lot has gotten done. We had a, a supporting group come up from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, two weeks ago. And that was really kind of the, the first week when we started getting back out and trying to forge new connections. And it was pretty special um, because when we were making the new connections, not only uh, Rachel, Paul and I making the connections, but Jaheel's making those connections, Carl's making those connections. Um, soon Liz will be making those connections. Liz Caratini, another lady who comes to our church plant. Um, and that's what it's about. It's about making disciples that make disciples. That's what Jesus wants us to do. The, the Great Commission tells us to do that in Matthew uh, 28. And we should follow that because that's the job that all Christians have. So I guess the big takeaway that we've had this last month is that we need to pour into our people because our people pour into other people. People like Brandon or Crystal that we met by walking down by the river. <clears throat> you know, these are two people who have you know, been through a lot in life, but they, uh, they're they hungry for something more. They're hungry for peace. They're hungry for the community to see healing. Um, and we met them after intense prayer. We met them after <clears throat> some intense study within our group. Um, so if you're a church planner out there and you're struggling, I know the statistics are pretty grim for church plants. I think one of the reasons why they are so grim is because we don't take a step back and pray and fast as much as we should. And I know that, you know, we here at the God of Hope Mission may pray and fast more than the average bear, um, you know, even going into the past, but it still wasn't enough. You know, you see Jesus get up every morning early to go out and, you know, pray to get ready to do what he's doing. Um, he's empowered by the spirit of his father to do the work that he was sent to do on earth, you know, like he said in Luke 4. So if God needs to pray and fast constantly, not just often, then we shouldn't really think that we're exempt from that. So anyway, more contents on the way about the church. Uh, about God's plan for the church and about our vision. And there's going to be some content made uh, about our action plan as well as our incorporation. We're now, uh, as soon as we get a notary involved, going to be officially incorporated in the state of New Jersey as a nonprofit. And uh, we'll have a different giving information for you guys if you want to donate by check rather than Patreon. If you haven't already subscribed, click subscribe and ring the bell. And if you would like to support our ministry here in New Jersey, then you can click the Patreon link in the description. I'm looking forward to giving you more content, telling you a little bit about the story behind him. 
Um, we'll be doing that in the next upcoming weeks, hopefully. <laughs> I'm not going to make promises I can't keep. I know I'm uh, notorious for saying I'm going to do this, and then life just hits me with a hammer. Um, but I'm going to try my best, and uh, please just have some grace for me this time. Keep praying for us. Pray particularly for Brandon. Pray particularly for Crystal. God's opening doors with those two. Pray for Wayne Hightower, our uh, local mechanic that we've been discipling and telling you guys about. Uh, things have been going well with him as well. Until next time, peace be with you.